Love God, love people. Simple, right? Unfortunately, that is not reflected in our world today. Jesus was once asked by someone what he thought the greatest commandment was. The man wanted to know what was the main point that we should know as Christ followers. Jesus answered with this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind and with all of your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. To God, there is nothing greater than loving Him, your Creator and loving people, everyone He created. If we can get this down, imagine how much better this world will really be. If we can get this down and truly love God and people, we will be unstoppable. I am constantly reminded of a verse in Luke, a book of the Bible that shares the life of Jesus. When Jesus says, what matters is that you come to me, hear my words and actually live by them. It is not enough for us to come each week to church and listen to whoever is giving the message. It is not enough for us to listen to Christ-centered podcasts or to read another spiritual habits book. Yes, do those things. Keep doing those things. Have time with God to hear what He is saying to you. Really lean in and listen. And then actually do what He is saying. Put what you're learning into practice because at the end of the day, our spiritual formation is up to us. We can do all the right things, but if nothing changes in our lives, in our actions, in our thoughts, in the way we respond to people, in the way we love people, then no formation is truly taking place. We are simply going through emotions. As Casey put it this past weekend, spiritual practices are not spiritual formation. Spiritual practices are essential to our spiritual formation, but they're not the same thing. Think of spiritual practices as the means in spiritual formation as the end. So it's time to put into practice what God wants us to do most. Love God and love people.